Here's what I'm we can pick up. I'm assuming you want me to pick this up. Yes. Firekeeper soul, what do these do? Lots of points. All right, here's what we're going to do now. Uh-oh. Go to uh -oh. your end. Are, Go we, to your are we nearing the number? Are we getting close to the number? I think we're, we're getting... We're just about there. Not that. Go to the inventory. We're going to homeward bone back to the bonfire. I'm going to I'm gonna bone what? Homeward bone. <laughs> oh, wait. Back out of your inventory. Tap back out of this that menu. Isn't Down on the D-pad. Down again. You have it equipped. Go ahead oh. and press X to use it. Uh, uh. Yes. Yes. And then tap oh, down on the D-pad when you get to the bonfire to go back to your Estus. Okay. There you go. Press oh. on the bonfire, and now we are going to... Go to warp. Bless you. Let's warp to... Did you say the way he sneezed, he gave the whole internet? <laughs> scroll, scroll down. You're supposed to sneeze in your elbow. You're supposed to sneeze in your knee. Catacombs? Catacombs. Yep. That's where the skeleton merchants are. Isn't it funny? When you're looking for something, it's always in the last place that you look for it. You the find it. Gold you find it. Oh, that's the item that increases item discovery. Turn around. Go talk to the skeleton. Go to purchase item. I'm just curious. Scroll to the right. Okay, back out. Go to reinforce weapon. Okay, we don't have enough chunks. All right, let's back out. Go back to the bonfire. What was that about? Hey man, I forgot to bring the, the extra payments. Go to warp. Now let's go to... Hey, let's Chamber go to the, of the Abyss and see how Mary Elizabeth Mastertonio is doing. Let's go to Chamber of the Princess. I'm going to show off something. Are we... We're not ringing more fucking bells, are we? No, we're not ringing any more bells. I feel like a banjo. Go into your inventory. <laughs> go to equipment. Sorry, go to equipment. Next one over. Oh. Right bumper? Yeah, that. Uh, go to the second weapon slot next to the axe icon. Next to your Y-hander. Yep, press A. Scroll down. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Oh, oh, oh up to the sniper crossbow. Equip that. I'm That's okay, you don't, you, it doesn't matter. Now, scroll over Wait, to... Wait, hold on, Wait, there was a fucking gun the whole time? We had a fucking gun the whole time? Honestly, you don't have the stats and it sucks. Uh, go to... Then why am I equipping it? I'm, we're, 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 I'm gonna show you a little Easter egg. Okay. Scroll, scroll forward. Alright, so you see the two arrow icons above... Go to the one above the rings. Those are the bolts, I believe. So go to the first, yep, that one, press A. Sniper bolt, equip that. Okay. All right, now, Dad, here's what I need you to do. Back out of the, back out of those menus. Is this something where there's some glowy muskrat thing's gonna jump out of a wall and then you're gonna scream at me and then I'm gonna try to hit it? Nope. Nope. Go what? ahead and hit right on the D-pad to get to the crossbow. Well, get out of the menu first. Uh. Now hit right on the D-pad. Now. Uh. Hold down Y and right bumper, I believe, to two-hand it. Okay. And I believe you hold down left bumper to go into view. Oh. Okay, never mind. Hold down left trigger. Left trigger? Left trigger, yeah. Okay, never mind. Oh, I don't think you can aim it. Go forward into the room. Go forward into the room. No, turn around. 
go into the room. Alright, so you see the giant princess. Yeah. I want you to aim your camera towards the princess and then fire one bolt at her. And then just just immediately say it's just a prank bro. Dad, you have to angle it up more. Try again. Dad, try again. There we go. Now, watch the cutscene. Is there a cutscene? Is there? Yep. Oh, they fixed that in the remastered version. By the way, if we did this before, we took on Dark Sun, Dark Moon Gwendolyn, he would have talked to us as this was happening. Okay, let me explain what just happened. Right. So, Anerlanda was never actually bright and sunny. It was always dark and nighttime forever. Dark Sun Gwendolyn, the dude in the white dress that was in that infinite hallway that we fought a few sessions ago, he created an illusion of the of the princess Guinevere, the big the big chick that was just lying on the sofa there. That wasn't actually her. That was an illusion of her conjured by dark by dark sun Gwendolyn. Or sorry, Dark Moon Gwendolyn. And that illusion also casted this illusion of a bright and sunny Anorlando. When you kill the illusion of Guinevere, you see Anorlando for what it truly is. So, under the cover of darkness. So now we're about to go out and see what it looks like without her hair now? Yeah, now we get to go out and see Dark Anorlando. Okay, well. Go so. out. Also, new enemies will be spawning, but nothing we can't handle. Dad, go down the stairs. You don't have to be that timid. Take a left, go down the elevator. We're going to go visit the giant blacksmith. I'm not being timid. I can't fucking see where, that, where I'm going. Oh. Good point. Yeah, watch for the elevator. Because that's, that's when we get into, Dad, Dad, why did you wait for the elevator? Well, son, actually, depending on where... Okay, get off the elevator. Hey, look, it's where we fought Ornstein and Smo. Oh, wow, it's dark. Yes. So, yeah, Anorlando, even the bright, and, even the most bright and sunny-looking place in Dark Souls was a lie. The reason why Anorlando Gwendolyn kept up the illusion. What's that? Am I fighting these guys? Yeah, you can fight them. Go ahead and lock on. Yeah, so, and even those giant soldier statues were part of the illusion. Alright, back out and heal. These are like these are like tougher NPCs, so you will need to put in some effort here. Oh, nice. But back up, you're out of stamina. Stamina management. You're especially going to need stamina management for Dark Souls 3. Back up. Oh! Okay, back out. Yeah, you got parried. That whoosh sound you just heard, that indicates a parry occurred. Whether it's you or if it happens to you. Take a drink, Dad. You're low health. Dad. Dude, look how much damage he did. He barely did anything. Uh, you can just sneeze on him. Yes. Go up the stairs. Which way? Right side. Yeah, so those giant those giant stone soldier dudes aren't there anymore either. Well, they didn't, I, they, I they technically those didn't guys exist. were a little bit tougher. I, I thought I could just go up and, you know, right bumper them a couple times. and They had more advanced AI pathing, so that's what makes them tougher. Well, well dad, I wasn't, I wasn't turn around, blaming. Dad, turn around, Dad, turn around. You missed, you missed the, the doorway. Left. Yep. Down these stairs. And it'll be a left. It's easy Down to miss stairs. this shit. You walk right by this shit. Yeah, it's dark, dark stuff now. Yeah, it's a dark, it's dark Londo. 
And also, if you look outside, if you, you look outside, talk to this Dad. Guy? One second, I want you to look outside for a minute. Oh, that's... oh the albino creatures are gone. Yeah, they those... also didn't exist. And Orlando was basically never sunny. And the lore reason why Anne Orlando became dark is because the Age of Fire is dying. To the point where not even Anne Orlando, the lost city of the gods, can maintain sunlight. Now talk to the giant, please. Shiny, shine, give me that. I may you can skip his dialogue. Yeah, go ahead and give it to him. It's it's we don't care. Go to reinforce armor. Scroll down to hit giant's armor. Okay, so let's see what do we got here. Giant's gauntlets. Start with giant leggings. Yep. Now go ahead and giant leggings plus five. Now we're going to go and buy some more twinkling titanite. We need to buy four twinkling titanite. Wait, no, we need six twinkling titanite for plus four and five. So let's see how much twinkling titanite you can buy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Exactly six. Yep. Now go back to reinforce uh, armor. Yep. Reinforce armor. Scroll down. Giant gauntlets plus three. And one more upgrade. All right. Scroll down a bit. Oops. Sorry. Re reinforce armor. Reinforce armor. Yes. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Okay, yep, yeah, back out. Mask of the Father doesn't have upgrades. Uh, talk to him again. Let's upgrade the Grass Crest Shield. I believe we have enough Titanite for a few upgrades for that sucker. Go to Reinforce Weapon, because shields are classified as weapons for some reason. Scroll down until you hit Grass Crest Shield. Okay, grass crash shield. Go ahead and upgrade that once. Okay, back out. We really don't have that many Titanite shards. All right, back out. Go to your inventory. I want to check something. Yep, browse. Scroll to the right. Check. Nope. Yep. Okay, we need more Titanite shards. We can actually upgrade the shield. A fair amount. All right, here's what we're going to do, Dad. Uh, go to the left. Tap left on the inventory. Scroll down to you hit the soul packets. Pop all three of the soul of a brave warrior and the large soul of a brave warrior. Okay. No, sorry, we're, we're good, we're good. We don't need to pop that last soul packet. Talk to the blacksmith. Oh shit, hold on. I had the thing, I had the, the menu open. Yep. Purchase item. Let's buy... Let's buy 12 Titanite shards. Yep. Hit okay. Back out. Go to reinforce weapon. Scroll back down to the Grass Crest Shield. All right. And let's go ahead and upgrade that. Yep. Let's keep upgrading until we can't upgrade it anymore. Yep. One more. Okay, now we're on Large Titanites. Whoa. Oh, that's right. We have to... Okay, back out. Back out of this menu. Yeah, Dark Souls 1 does the weird thing. Go to Modify Equipment. Scroll right. What? 
blacksmiths. Huh. Oh, we have to go to the other blacksmith. Okay, back out. We're good for now. Yep. Also, go back to your menu. Go back to your equipment. Shit. Yep. Go to equipment. Uh, unequip the crossbow and unequip the air the bolts. Nope. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, unequip. You just press the X button yeah, and then same thing for the bolts. Go ahead and also unequip the homeward bone and the transient curse. Oh yeah, yeah, the transient curse. All right. Uh, back and then screw up. Oh. Go back, yep, back out, sorry, back out, I'm, sorry, I'm f mixing my words up here. What do you want me Let's to go do? ahead and head back to the bonfire now. Actually, no, fuck that. To end your sword. Go back to your inventory and let's use the homework bone to get back. Yes. Rest at the bonfire and let's warp to the Firelink Shrine. Rest at the bonfire to recover your Estus. Alright, let's back out. We're gonna go down the stairs, past Chainmail Guy. And we're going to turn in that Firekeeper Soul to upgrade her Estus even further. Left. Not that. Yep. Cage. Cage. Yep. Talk to her and upgrade your Estus. Yep. Yep. You're good. Okay, back up. Go back up the stairs. You're at, you now have Estus Flask plus six. I believe the max is plus seven. But we kind of have to go into New Game Plus to get the extra Firekeeper Soul. Now let's rest at the bonfire. Let's go to warp. Now we're going to go to Undead Parish. We're going to go talk to the other blacksmith, Undead Parish Dad. Yep. I'm drinking. Oh, I didn't see that. I'm an old fart. I can't, I can't, I can't run the... Enterprise with, with two thumbs. I I, I need <laughs> go down right, go down the stairs. Let's talk to the blacksmith. Well, hello again. You yeah, just skip the dialogue. Anything? Let's go to modify equipment. There we go. Okay, go ahead and go upgrade that to plus six. Yes. Back out. Scroll down to reinforce weapon. Scroll down to grass crush shield, and we're gonna keep we're gonna upgrade that sucker some more. Yep. You go. Back out. Go to modify equipment. Hold on, sorry. Neither. Well, hello again. You need it. Yep. Scroll forward. Or yeah, scroll third. Okay, back out. Yep, back out. I won't be seeing you then. Be careful out there. To hand your weapon. Plus 10's fine. Let's go back upstairs now. We'll rest at the bonfire. We will warp back to the Duke's archives. And I think we're good to call it for today. Hey, someone else run a, run a tower bell. Anytime you hear a tower bell when you're in the undead parish, it's actually parish, somebody in the game ringing it. Yeah, some other actual player oh, that's is cool. like rain, rain the tower bell. That's cool. All right, so All right I think we're good to call it here. We right. are we're set up for success essentially. 